Hi and welcome to Fab Parks. Uh, today, as promised, uh, I'm gonna give you an update uh, on the famous uh, Out of Society Alton Towers saga. So what happened? It was around uh, Christmas uh, and uh, uh, those two guys uh, out of society broke in Alton Towers and published the video on YouTube. Uh, I made already one episode uh, on this topic, uh, you can find it uh, uh, in the description down below. Uh, raising some concern, we were more around uh, uh, how can Alton Towers uh, uh, make this happen? Uh, what is the security at Alton Towers like and uh, uh, should, be, should we be worried about these, you know, being potentially uh, open to anyone, uh, uh, like, is there any security and uh, what if uh, someone wanted to break in uh, with uh, different uh, uh, goals, like, you know, placing a bomb or something like that. Uh, now, it's, uh, this happened, as I said, uh, in between uh, Christmas and, and New Year. We got a date, uh, which I'm going to tell you in a second. Uh, I reached out uh, to uh, Alton Towers to have some comments, uh, uh, same as other YouTubers did. Uh, as far as I know, uh, nothing really happened or there was no official uh, um, statement uh, released by Alton Towers. But in the meantime, uh, the news uh, uh, was covered by uh, online newspapers. Uh, and therefore, there are some uh, official statements from Alton Towers that we are going to discuss. Uh, also, we're going to see what happened in the meantime uh, to this uh, Out of Society uh, channel. Uh, and uh, as usual, I'm uh, broadcasting uh, just on, on the background uh, the video that uh, is still available on YouTube. And I'm going to put uh, the source and link uh, in the description. So, uh, I'm not going to say much about the video itself, uh, but uh, from uh, some news that you can find online, uh, now we got a date. The date is uh, the uh, 6th of January, the night of the 6th of January, uh, when uh, those two guys uh, broke in Alton Towers, uh, which is uh, probably even more worrying because uh, initially we thought could have been like around Christmas, maybe the night between Christmas and Boxing Day, where you would expect uh, no security on site or uh, a really low level of security while 6th of January it's a bit more concerning. Now uh, what happened is that uh, Alton Tower uh, contacted the police on the, uh, in the morning of the 7th of January and initially the police was asking for witnesses or for some help to identify the, those two guys uh, which I find it again a bit uh, hilarious because those guys have been identified so many times uh, back then they used to have on their website a video where they uh, slept over in uh, Ikea and in the morning the police was just waiting for them so I, I didn't see really like the reason for uh, this uh, uh, identification or, or whatsoever Anyway, uh, what happened in the meantime is that uh, Out of Society uh, YouTube channel is still there, but all the videos have been removed. Also, if you click uh, on the original link uh, in my uh, first video, uh, now uh, YouTube is saying that the video has been removed because it was against their policy or, or whatever. So the channel is still there, but there are no more videos, not even of the previous let's say, adventures <laughs> they recorded. So everything is gone. The video that you're seeing uh, on my TV now uh, has been re-uploaded by another user on YouTube. So it's still there, available. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay, if it's gonna be removed at some point, uh, I don't know. Uh, as I said, the um, news uh, make it to online newspapers and uh, uh, lots of articles are actually uh, reporting some comments uh, uh, which were posted in the original video. And uh, funnily enough, uh, most of the people are worried, uh, same as I was in my first video, uh, not really about those two guys breaking in, but about the fact that uh, the security of Alton Tower is completely non-existent. And uh, this uh, actually kind of uh, uh, confirms that uh, looking at this video, you can really see the, the elephant in the room. Uh, and as expected, uh, um, Alton Towers, I, I predicted that Alton Towers was going to persecute those two guys and take uh, uh, all uh, the po po possible actions. Uh, but also I was expecting... A, um, a kind of statement or, or an internal analysis about what went wrong uh, with their security protocol. 
So as I said, lots of users commented saying, yeah, where is the security at Alton Towers? And uh, uh, things could, be, uh, could go uh, much worse uh, if uh, the intention of uh, one uh, uh, breaking in uh, any Merlin Park uh, were a bit different from just uh, filming a video. Uh, now, from uh, the different articles, uh, uh, we can see some uh, statements uh, of Merlin uh, saying that they got uh, um, an injunction from the uh, High Court so no one can uh, access uh, unauthorized their properties, blah, blah, blah. And then they say that they were going to take uh, all the possible actions of all against those two guys, which were uh, going to fine, uh, um, face, sorry, face fines uh, or uh, even imprisonment and blah, blah. Uh, there is no news about about uh, the, the guys of uh, out of society we don't really know what happened to them uh, but there are some points of Alton Towers which are a bit uh, flaky I would say uh, because uh, Alton Towers says well those two guys endangered uh, the safety of our employees our visitors and blah blah and my point here would be Alton Towers are you sure that they endanger, it's not Merlin that is putting at danger the safety of employees and visitors not having a proper security in place. Uh, which was, by the way, the concern that any uh, comment or lots of comments uh, pointed out uh, um, in this video. So it feels like Merlin, of course, is doing all what they can uh, in terms of uh, uh, blaming those two guys, which we said they done something illegal, they shouldn't have done it, and all good. But I think they kind of opened a, a can of worm in terms of, uh, yeah, but why that could happen to, to start with. Uh, there are just some really light touches of uh, uh, Alton Towers saying they're going to also start an internal investigation and blah, blah. But um, I haven't seen any action. Probably Merlin doesn't want to give any visibility of uh, uh, what went wrong, right? But I haven't seen any statement or, or any... Um, action plan in terms of saying okay this is what we're gonna do uh, to make sure this is never gonna happen again and uh, uh, this is what went wrong uh, now i suspect that of course merlin uh, tried to keep this as quiet as possible uh, but at some point uh, when uh, the news uh, uh, gets on the online newspaper and the press uh, reach out for comments then they need to do some statements of any sort uh, but again uh, pointing uh, or, or, or blaming uh, only those two guys for for doing this video and saying that they put in danger the um uh, the safety of uh, uh, employees and visitors is a really simplistic way of looking at the, at the issue uh, because the issue itself uh, stays with uh, Merlin. And I remember also that there was the uh, press release, uh, the, the press conference after the accident of, um, of the Smiler saying, uh, was probably the AD, I guess, back then, of Merlin saying, well, uh, the safety is our priority and uh, things clearly went wrong with the uh, uh, accident 2015 of Smiler and this is never going to happen again and I would say that in we are to 2023 and this happened again with different consequences of course but still feels like safety for uh, Merlin Parks uh, is not granted and uh, uh, Merlin has got much in place to make sure this uh, um, is where it should be. So, saying that, there are no more updates apart from the one that I just discussed, but I, I just want to think that it was uh, worth to kind of wrap it up and, and close the, the, the topic, and I promise you an update as soon as I had uh, more, more news. Uh, but, as I said, the, the approach of Merlin has been like uh, a finger pointing those two guys, but uh, apart from saying that there's going to be an internal investigation, um, I didn't really see much in terms of taking any blame uh, or addressing the elephant in the room, which is expected but still disappointing. Uh, I hope you found this uh, update uh, interesting. Uh, please subscribe to the channel because of course uh, uh, parks are about to open and so we're gonna ride uh, rather than mumble. <laughs> Bye!